Let's imagine you have a business idea. It's perfectly normal that you don't know whether it's a good one or a bad one. The bad news may be asking around your friends and family, as this might not be a reliable source of information. See what you can do to make your business plan as helpful as possible. A business plan doesn't mean to be a specific document that you deliver to the bank. It might be a draft piece of paper or an Excel spreadsheet, but it has to include a plan for the next activities you're going to take. It seems simple. You write down what you will make, how much profit you want, how much you will spend. But how will you know that? Let's start with the easiest piece of information. Start by writing down the name of the service and the location you'll be operating in. For example, Yoga School Berlin. If you can't put this into two or four words, you might be in trouble. It means that you want to create a business and the idea doesn't exist yet. And this requires more energy. You'll need to make people realise there is something new and that they should pay for the product. Pay for a product they probably don't need. But let's say that your industry already exists. See how Google can help with this. From the list below, you can see how many similar businesses there are in your neighbourhood. Analyse some of them. See advertisements for premises for rent. Ask from the questions below. You'll be able to estimate your monthly renting costs. Now's the time to see what other companies offer to their clients. Firstly, look for similarities. This means that there is the greatest need for these specific items or services and they generate the biggest profit. See how much companies charge. How big is the difference between the cheapest and the most expensive firm? If all prices are low, you'll probably have to think about decreasing your prices too. If some of them are higher, this will mean that you can offer something better quality and for a bigger price. Look out for sales, extra offers and other ideas. See what suppliers you'll need and how far and how expensive they are. Now's the time to look for feedback about your competitors. Are your clients happy? What do they complain about? Is it possible to do something about this? Look at websites with feedback, Facebook groups and fan pages. Check how the industry is developing in general. By using Google, you can find reports and studies of specific fields and industries. It will help you to find information about sales dynamics, the biggest companies, and then you can read official data. Each country has a government organisation that collects data and converts it into reports. Look into it. This is the most technically reliable source of information. In the meantime, read professional portals and newspapers. You probably don't even know how many there are out there. Use social media to get information. It can give you the most recent tendencies and honest opinions. Pretend to be a client and ask a lot of specific questions from the customer's perspective. For example, what bike store do you recommend? What do you think about this company? Or how are the prices and quality in this industry? It's a more reliable source of information than asking your friends whether or not you should start a business. The last part is very important. Smart people can learn from the mistakes of others. Try to attend a fair or a conference if you've got the opportunity. Meet with people and ask them for advice. If you don't want to ask your competitors directly, find someone who's just retired or someone from a slightly different industry. To be even more experienced, think about working for your competition for a while. It's the best way to see how the business works without risking anything. Think about a kind of apprenticeship or a regular job if you're not sure if you're good for this industry. These methods might seem complicated, but it's the only way to succeed. Only about a third of companies survive the first two years of existence. Make sure you're among them.